Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on. And if you are returning, well, friends, I tell you all the time, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. Um, you guys know what's up. I love hanging out with you. And it's also my hope that you enjoy your time while you're hanging out with me too, friends. Um, so let's get to today's reading. Today we are going to be looking into your crush and are they interested in you? We're going to be seeing what messages we can get relating to how they view you or how they feel about you. Um, keep in mind, you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube, so only you know your situation best and take the messages as they apply to you and, you know, use your discernment if they even apply at all. Um, friends, you guys know what to do. We have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into, um, is your crush interested in you? And how are they viewing you? Or how are they feeling about you? Uh, my group number ones, you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube. So super important for you guys to use your own discernment. Um, take the messages that resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Remember, you never know who else is watching and why they're watching. You could be watching for a crush that you've never talked to or that you see randomly and someone is honestly watching for their husband or their their partner, their their significant other. So, um, yeah, it's it's good to keep that in mind. <laughs> My group number one, thank you for joining me here today. And let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number one. My group number ones, three spirit, my group number ones. All right, friends, think of your crush. Think of their dreamy features. <laughs> Not their dreamy features. Listen, messages for my group number ones. Their crush. How does my group number ones crush feel about them? Are they interested in my group number ones? Is their crush interested in them? Messages for my group number ones. This person that they're thinking of, their crush, is their crush interested in them? What can we know? What can you tell us? What can we know? What can you tell us? What's their crush's energy towards them? Oh, okay. Is their crush interested in them? Okay. I would say that off the bat, it's a yes. Um, they're going back and forth. So uh, this person, they feel like they don't have the courage to either step up or see what's going on or maybe they're holding back because they're kind of waiting for some kind of sign uh, this could be relating to where you know them from and maybe you see them at work or yeah they see you repetitively and they're not sure if they should approach you or not this person there's even been a point where they turned around and they may have almost been ready to say something to you or walk towards you and then they saw you uh doing something or interacting with someone or something got disrupted. It's almost like the timing they they've almost, but not quite. So this does have to do, um, with where you see them or where you guys connect. They're definitely interested in you. So they're trying to manifest things moving forward. They think they're, they're getting mixed signals from you or maybe, yeah, they're not sure how you feel. Sometimes you're moody. <laughs> <laughs> bitch i know we will be doing that it's okay <laughs> some of you are moody sometimes or they can't tell maybe you have um maybe you have a little rbf you don't have to but why the wheel of fortune they could feel like they haven't seen you in a while or they don't get to see you anymore in the place that they used to and if you guys haven't seen them they're wondering when they're going to see you again they don't have plans as to coming towards you or going out and actually finding you but i will say that they're definitely um they're definitely interested they just don't know where to go from here tell me more please tell me about this magician they want to ask you out or they want to spend alone time or talk to you reconnect or connect in general tell me about the magician and the six of swords one more sometimes they feel like you're avoiding them or yeah no so their perspective there's something here about their perspective they feel like they're they're getting either mixed signals or they're just not sure 
So they are purposely um, holding back. They view you as being very fiery or they are definitely someone here is lacking the confidence. If you feel like you're flirting with them or roasting them, uh, you're, I don't know. There's, they can't tell. Some of you, if you guys do roast, it's almost like a, do they view me like a, like, are they interested or do they view me as a sibling? You know how sometimes, sometimes uh, you just can't tell. Like, are we just having fun or is there something here? And that's how they might feel. They feel like you're a little on and off or there's some inconsistencies with maybe where they've not been seeing you or what happened or I don't know. There's something here where it feels like they're just not sure. They're not sure about where you're at. Tell me about, and that could be emotionally or even like physically. Where are you at? Why the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles? They miss you. They miss seeing you around. They don't see you anymore at work or it's because of work. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. All right. So there's no plans. They just kind of look forward to seeing you again. Yeah. This, they look forward to seeing you again. They're hiding their crush. Yeah, they they don't. Huh? Why would you like them is what they're saying. Why? Why would you? Um, you're all of these amazing things. You're, you know, oh, this person's waiting for you to come back. And when they do, it's almost like they want to puff out their little chest and be really good at what they're doing. They want to show like to be successful or they've, you know, but there's something here about their ego. So this person doesn't think of themselves on your level. So they are definitely hiding the fact that they are, they have a crush on you. Now, this is uh, obviously take it how it applies, but um, this is not for the crush that doesn't know that you're alive. Uh, and I know that it sounds kind of funny when I say that, but you just never know. And I know that sometimes we maybe think we fall in love with people at a distance and they become our crush. This, this, they would know who you are because they also, they're, they feel attracted and connected. You guys have had interactions, you've hung out socially, or you've gotten to talk, you've gotten to get some kind of, um, conversation or some kind of something that was enabled uh, that, in that, um, connected you guys. So I just want to put that out there. Now, if you don't know this person at all, um, then just make sure they can see you, babe. But it, make sure, walk by, walk by, make sure they can see you because if they see you, they're going to like you. But let's be realistic here with what, um, you know, with what our own situation is. This is heavy on the, they used to see you or if it was work or school or a place you frequent, the gym, I don't know, something, right? And they're like, I haven't, our schedules changed. I haven't seen you around. They don't, this person might not know how to find you. Maybe you guys don't have each other's numbers or handles or something like that, right? Um, like I said, they're not actively doing anything to seek you out, but they're definitely thinking about when they get to see you again. This person gets giddy and they keep this as their own little secret. They also watch you if you guys um, are online. Um, so for those of you that do that do follow each other online, it just depends. I don't see them. I don't. I don't see them reaching out though. At least not anytime soon. They're they're waiting for whatever circumstances brought you together in the past. It's almost like that's what they're waiting on. They're not about to put themselves out on a on a limb all by themselves. You know. Lots of fire energy. They're viewing you very fiery. Uh, Aries Leo Sag doesn't have to be, but I do feel like you intimidate them to some degree. All right. Let's see. Uh, lots of Leo energy. Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo. Leo again. Scorpio again. Aries coming through. All right, let's see what else we can learn. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for their, my group number ones, please. What can we know about their crush? What else can we know? 
what else can we know about how their crush views them and feels about like group number one? What can we know? What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Well, they definitely like flirting with you. They love your banter. They feel like you guys get along easy. I feel like there's laughing or joking or flirting, you know. Um, if it's online, it's like the pictures, you know. They late at night. I don't know if you guys used to talk late at night. Oh, this person wants, uh, they want more with you. I don't know if you guys had an ending or again, because they don't see you in the same environment or something kind of fell apart here. They might even worry that the reason you, they haven't seen you or, you know, that you're with someone else or you found new love. This person wants to go out with you. They date or hang out, uh, hook up, you know, they want to revisit, they revisit conversations or they go over in their head things that you guys talked about. Or um, this person also loves to come back to you and talk to you. So that could be another indicator of um, maybe you feel like they gave mixed signals and you're kind of closing off or you maybe being a little hot and cold with them if that's what was coming through earlier could it be because of that or it's like you notice that they always walk by or they flirt with you or you're like uh do they talk like that with other people this person has anxiety and they just don't feel like they have enough or they have the confidence or this person misses you Tell me about the four pentacles in reverse and the four of wands. They're frustrated and they give up or they surrender. Maybe they're also surrendering to their feelings, but they feel like they, they feel like they can't really do anything right now about it. So are they interested? Absolutely. Tell me about the, the death card with the emperor in reverse. So they keep telling themselves that next time they see you or when they have the chance, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. But I don't know if they will. I mean, they might, but this they're feeling it. This person is uh, frustrated and feels ghosted or left out, misses you. Something's not fair, that they want a new beginning, but they haven't spoken the truth. So this person hides their desire for you. King of Cups in reverse. King of Pentacles because of work or their responsibilities or their duties. There could be a third party. Doesn't have to be. That third party could be work. Libra, Sagittarius coming through. Aries as well. But we also have air and in, in, uh, fire. You guys, yeah, I mean... This person, they're, they're into you, but I don't know if it's because of the environment or where they know you from, you know, how much you guys know each other. I don't know, but there's definitely, <laughs> they're into you. All right, let's see. Um, let's see what's next between you and your crush. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's next between my group number ones and their crush? What's next? Sleepless nights, not the sleepless nights. Someone is stressing over you guys not being together or you guys not seeing each other and not being on the same page. Messages for my group number ones. What's next between them and their crush? All right, we have the fool. We have the queen of swords in reverse. I don't know if you're avoiding talking to them or what. Or you're not, you're avoiding talking to them at work. You're hiding it. So there's some kind of a new beginning here between you guys. Or someone is just pulling back, going with the flow. Why do I feel like you're acting aloof and you're going cold on them? I feel you guys are going to work together or you're going to be around each other, but we're going to be faking it. You're going to be pretending you're not into them and they're going to be pretending they're not into you. What else, please? Tell me about the fool in the hangman. Yeah. Tell me about the queen of swords in reverse with the queen of cups. You feel undecided. 
you want them to you want them to do something so you guys are going to be at a stalemate because you want them to approach you in a certain way and they're not sure if they should or if it's appropriate maybe because of the environment if it is work you guys are going to see each other or talk to each other interact like you have in the past but no one is making a move and it's literally because no one is speaking up so you guys will be talking you'll be hiding it though yeah so Asa, so you guys are going to have some flirty moments. You're going to have some excitement. It's going to repeat whatever you guys did in the past, but it's also going to leave you a little hot and bothered. Um, <laughs> maybe a little uh, desiring this person, wanting more. I think you guys are both kind of desiring, wanting more. All right. Everyone's hiding how they feel. Everyone's hiding it. And you guys are both, I kind of feel like you guys are both uh, frustrated and it could also be like sexually frustrated. Or like sexual tension between you guys is uh palpable if you will all right we're doing shorties today my group number one straight to the point though i mean what else do we need to know right <laughs> we got our answer they're into you bitch but no one is saying anything all right thank you spirit but isn't that how it is all right so you guys are very comfortable around each other. I feel like it's when you're not around each other that all the questioning starts, all the all the dissecting, the conversations, the interactions, thinking things over, right? So there is going to be more balance that you guys have. Um, your confidence is going to be building. Maybe this reading can help you feel a little more confident as to how this person is into you. Um, and maybe when the time is right, when the mood strikes, maybe you can, um, you know, I don't know. The sign maybe needs to be sign here. We have anxiety, sadness as well. Someone's in their feels over the anxiety of the connection or between you guys. You guys need more balance here. Someone's going to have to um, make the move if you guys ever want this. Or maybe there's a reason why you can't. And if there is, then you already know why, what the problem is. Karmic relationships. So uh, we also have snakes. So yeah, there could be third party here or someone from the past is their energy still lingering or there's something here that we're just um, still maybe energetically hanging on to. There's triggers. It's all, it says resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So um, yeah, maybe someone here is healing from something from a past relationship. We have the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, and the other woman. So again, a third party, a reason why uh, maybe they can't approach you or you guys haven't been open with each other. We have Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, transformation, growth. So things are going to be shifting here. And then sunglasses. I love that. You guys, um, I thought that said matching. It says watching, but I'm going to say matching because I feel like you guys are both matching that energy. Pretending maybe you don't see each other, but you do. Um, this also says watching, looking, stalking, perception. Um, so I think you guys are both watching each other or keeping an eye or thinking about each other. Um, again, I don't really see them going out of their way to connect with you just yet, but I do feel you guys are going to, I don't know, however you connected with them in the past, I see it happening again, but everyone's hiding how they feel, or maybe you guys are just kind of sneaking it or I don't know depending on who's around or who else is involved or what the situation is um my group number ones that is what I have for you today I hope you enjoyed your reading I hope it resonated please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one thanks guys hello my group number twos <laughs> if you pick the sticker then welcome to your reading friends today we're going to be looking into your crush and seeing if they are interested in you um, we're also going to be looking into seeing what's next between you and just seeing, you know, what, what are their feelings towards you? Uh, my group number two is you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube. So only you know your situation way better than anyone else could. Um, only take what resonates. Take the messages as they apply to you, if they apply. And yeah, you just never know. Well, remember, you never know who else is watching and why, why they're watching. All right, my group number two, so let's get to it. Thank you for joining me here, my babies. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number twos. My group number twos, please. My group number two, Spirit. What can we know? What can you tell us? All right, my group number twos, think of your, think of your crush's beautiful, beautiful little face or their essence. What is it you're crushing on? And let's tap in. Thank 
hope you spirit messages for my group number twos please their crush is their crush interested in them is my group number two's crush interested in my group number twos is my group number two's crush interested in them what can we know what can you tell us thank you spirit is my group number two's crush my group number two's crush are they interested in my group number twos what can we know what can you tell us is their crush interested in them all right well your crush is not available your crush is either married in a relationship or is working on their money and is avoiding commitment at you know at all costs i don't want to say at all costs but uh you guys know I, i'm going to be honest with you um yeah this person they're not interested in love that's not to say they don't like you but the timing of things it's just not the right time this person they are either married or they're your boss or they're an elder of some sort a teacher your therapist i don't know only you know who they are now also um you know if this doesn't sound like it's your situation then maybe it's another group again uh maybe there's a message for you in another group you just never know why someone else is watching so i want to reiterate that because this group very off the bat it, there's a big no but it's there's a reason it's either because of the things i already mentioned um, or there's another reason similar to that as to why this person isn't uh, vibing like that with you right now tell me about the king of pentacles in reverse tell me about the king of cups they might be getting divorced now they are passionate you know there is desire they like talking or getting to see you or whatever interactions you guys have they might even like your validation what it feels like to get your attention or um, talk to you or maybe you like or maybe it's vice versa you know there is something here they do enjoy it but when it comes to them thinking more into it i'm not picking that up i pick up that this person is healing from something big it's the timing thing it, it is um if this is someone very important in your life and you know that you know it's not just a crush then maybe this is just reminding you that the timing of things is just not now um some of you guys could be getting a little you know slapped around by the cards a little bit because maybe you're asking again or you're asking about someone that you already know why it can't happen um and you know i understand we want validation and we want to feel like we're not just making this up in our head and you know sometimes we do and sometimes we don't but what i do know is that at this moment it, the energy that i'm picking up on today it doesn't mean necessarily mean it has to be for you but the energy i'm picking up on it says there's physical desire um they like talking flirting having fun but everything else surrounding it this person's got a job to do or they have uh things to work through they're definitely not emotionally available and if they were to entertain things with you it's coming from a selfish place it's coming because it makes them feel good this person is very very driven they're very driven to either improve their finances rebuild uh, work on their career or if they were divorced or were in a long-term relationship it's like they're focused on their glow up this person, they could own a company or own a business or be trying to level up in their career so they can be at the top. And that's what is guiding them right now. Not crush, not love, not relationships. This is what's driving them. Uh, strong Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, and Aries. Tell me about uh, lots of Taurus. So lots to do with work, money, material world, finances, stability. Tell me about the tower in reverse and the Hierophant. Um, this person could be even going to therapy or someone here um, is working on themselves, um, whether that's you or them. But, you know, I, I think they, I'm not, they, they like you. It's just not coming off as they have a crush and they, think about this and it simmers and you know i do think that it's when it's it's like out of sight out of mind perhaps because it's when it's in when it's around them or when they interact with you yeah they're into it and they like it and they enjoy it 
they feel like you're, you know, it's exciting, it's fun, it's spontaneous maybe. You guys don't have to go too deep. There's some banter perhaps. But this person is healing from something or maybe you guys both are. Um, tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Empress in reverse. Silence. One more. Yeah, there's silence here between you guys and there's nothing really kind of moving forward or this person, this is what they're dealing with. Um, that could be a relationship or something that wasn't going anywhere. They're not out of yet or they haven't moved on from it. This person is showing up for their duties or for what they, it's like, what they're dedicated to, what they're committed to, what their role is, and that's where their focus is. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Swords. So I can't tell if they feel like you're a little hot and cold or there's something here about how you guys stalk a stalk. Oh, someone's stalking. I was not even going to say that. I was going to say talk and stock came out. So someone could be stalking, even though you guys aren't talking. So someone here is like questioning, like seeing each other again or talking again, but you seem like you stopped talking to them. If so, like they notice, but... I don't think that they kind of have it in them to address it or, or do anything about it. Why the three of swords in reverse, the ten of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, no, guys, this person, it's a big no. Don't give this person energy more than you already have. Because even if this is someone that you feel is your person, let's just say right now it's going to be an, an energy void for you. You can just keep pouring and pouring into it. And you're just, it's like a, there's, it's a, it, it, there's no filling it because this person isn't, isn't there. This person, they're focused on their status, their success. There's something here about timing. Yeah, there's some weird energy going on here. I can't put my finger on it. Um, all right. I know the cards come out swinging. I know they do. Sometimes they do. All right. We are, these readings are going to be a little shorter today, but as you can tell, they're just as extensive. I feel like, um, I've only done one other group, but I feel like a lot of information coming through for you guys today. Thank you, Spirit. What else can we know about my group number two's crush? What else can we know? What can we know? What can you tell us? What can we know about their crush and their feelings towards my group number two's? What can we know about my group number two's crush and their feelings towards my group number two's? They like you. They like talking to you. They think you guys get along well. They feel like they don't have to hide things from you or you already know that they're not wanting to commit. Now, for those of you that this person doesn't know you or doesn't like, yeah, because, you know, everyone watches for something different. There's like a romanticized or an idealized of how well we would get along together, but there's nothing outside of that supporting it. So if you're, you know, if this is a fun fantasy for you, then um, I would say just keep it in a healthy dose. I always joke around that, you know, nothing makes work more enjoyable than if we have a crush, even if it's a little imaginary one, someone you wouldn't even crush on in the real life. But it's just sometimes we need some kind of stimulation. We need some kind of distraction. So if this is a healthy distraction for you, then, you know, um, then you know that that's what it is. But if this is someone that you are seriously entertaining, I need to tell you um, to just um, watch how much energy, how much stress or how much you kind of put on this because this person isn't going to show um, initiative. They're going to come and go. They like your attention. They do, you know. Um, 
but it's not for reasons that that maybe you would want them to be right now. So if this is someone very important to you, I'm going to say it again, it's just not time. It's just not. This person, I mean, they have a lot of work before they're ready. And that's just what I'm picking up. Again, that doesn't have to be everyone's story, but I am kind of seeing that. I do see you guys coming back together or reconnecting after not seeing each other after a break for a while. Thank you, Spirit. What else? but they just kind of ignore they keep their distance this person's like rejecting kind of love they'll take your attention they'll take your you know the banter and even if it's like they have thought of it i think some of them have thought of you in that way but that they're they're not um it's not to the point where they're like i have to do something about it all right, so let's see what's next between you and your crush. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What's next between my group number twos and their crush? What's next between my group number twos and their crush? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What's next between them and their crush? Messages for my group number twos, please. What's next between them and their crush? You guys will be reconnecting or talking or, um, you know, however you guys interacted. Uh, someone's going to make the move. But it doesn't really feel like it goes anywhere. There's no, there's no change that comes with it. Why the Ace of Cups? Because it's one of you doing it. It's one of you driving it. So someone is choosing to put the energy into this or maybe loses patience and wants something to happen right now. And someone's going to be reactive or they're going to be impulsive and it's going to create some kind of, uh, it's going to create that Five of Swords. Okay, I feel like there is, avoidance and um yeah i feel like there's avoidance i don't really see much happening be careful if you're the one that's trying to connect with this person yeah it feels like some of you are ha trying to have a conversation and they're just not ready for it tell me about the five of swords you might say something impulsive and let something out how will they react with distance, something's going to be revealed. Maybe, I mean, it doesn't mean you're going to tell them something, but I'm getting that someone's going to make do something impulsively because they just want to connect with the other and it's not going to lead to anything. You guys do like unite, see each other or come together, but there's no change. Yeah. And your emotions are... Um, are left kind of hanging so be careful okay why the tower in reverse with the four of cups someone might be lying that they're not that they're not single someone might be hiding the fact that they're not free or you know this and you're you're ignoring that part i don't know babes that four of wands could also mean marriage and it's like you know it and that's why nothing's moving forward I'm just throwing that out there if that's your situation. If it's not that, it's work. They're the boss. They're the owner. They're the something. Devil. Lovers. Yeah, could be an affair. Could be karmic. Something here. All right, straight to the point. My group number... What group is this? Two. Just went into the ethers with that one. All right. Let's get you guys some oracle cards before we close out your reading. My group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What else can we know? What can you tell us? 
very specific. So if that's not for you, don't get too pressed. <laughs> You're probably not even listening at this point. Um, yeah. All right. We have anger, ideation, happiness, illumination, and caution. Yeah. There is a big um, caution sign here with this person. I got a big ass. What is, what is the stop sign? Is that a hexagon, right? Or an octagon? What's, what's the stop sign whatever you guys you know what i'm talking about the shape <laughs> i saw that shape in red um hovering over that part of the reading when i was like oh nope um yeah so caution with this person and we have happiness and illumination um you know maybe they're just happy the with money or the way they are or maybe it's you realizing why you have a crush on them um but just be careful be careful of the expectations or um, being impulsive, it just might make you uncomfortable, like at the end, you know, of wishing you didn't or that something didn't go the way that it did. Um, so you definitely be careful if you choose to stir the pot with this one. All right, we have, we have clock, need time takes time time to heal and progress. We have cassette, outdated thinking, replaying events over in your head. Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, and Cupid's arrow, half faith. Love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. So that Cupid's arrow makes me feel like that Ace of Cups with the, with the Queen of Swords. Someone here just lets it out and says, I like you, or you know, something like that, um, where they're presenting this cup. But the way that it's done, it's very kind of blunt. Um, someone just wants to kind of push things forward. And I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a backfire that happens. Um, so, you know, the messages are meant to be helpful. They're not meant to discourage you from going after the things that you want and you deserve. And this is definitely not going to apply to everyone, but, um, just take the messages that do. And yeah, my group number two is, I hope it was helpful. Um, please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked this sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be doing a quick little reading on your crush and seeing if they are interested in you, um, you know, where their feelings at when it comes to you. And we're also going to be taking a little look into what is next between you and them. My group number three is super important that you use your own discernment. Um, keep in mind, not everyone is watching for the same reasons that you may be, and you also never know who else is watching. Um, so yeah, super important that you just stay in touch with, you know, your situation, what feels right to you. And if you happen to get triggered or if something isn't, if the math ain't math in, it's probably not your story. Um, all right. With all that being said, my babies, thank you for joining me here today. Let's get to it. My group number three is, thank you spirit for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number three is my group number three, sweet spirit, my group number three is all right, babies, think of your dreamy person. This person that captivated your little attention and possibly your hearts. Um, let's let's tap in. Thank you, Spirit. My group number threes, please. Their crush. The person that my group number threes is crushing on. Are they interested in my group number threes? Is their crush interested in them? Messages for my group number threes, please. Is their crush interested in them? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages from my group number threes, please. Is their crush interested in them? Is my group number three's crush interested in them? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages from my group number threes. Is their crush interested in them? What can we know? What can you tell us? All right, so they're conflicted. This person is bothered by something that's happening right now. Um, they're thinking. They're thinking, they're thinking, they're thinking, and they can't make sense of it. Uh, they weren't clear about things. They're also, uh, this person doesn't know what's going on. So you guys, this group feels like they are, they are. You may be on a break um, with that four of swords. Maybe they haven't seen you in a while. Which way do you want to go? Is that the way you want to go? I don't know, guys. Let's take it like that for now. Messages for my group number threes, please. Is their crush interested in them? Tell me about the four of swords. Is their crush interested in them? Why the judgment? 
This person, oh, interesting. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. All right. Um, a couple things going on here. Some of you guys could have hurt this person's ego or something happened um, because they're over here wondering what happened, why you guys aren't talking, or um, maybe they're kind of having a hard time thinking of how this could work out. There, there's like a coulda, woulda, should haves or how. It's like there's a lot of questions coming up for them. Um, this person, I will say, I am getting ego because of the Five of Swords, the Six of Wands over here, and this Eight of Cups. They're trying to act like they're good, like they're fine, they're successful, they get attention, but yet it's not from the people that they want it to be. This person might be surrounded with um, friends, coworkers, um, beautiful people that you would think, you know, uh, they'd be interested in. And the one that isn't around, that's the one that's kind of pulling at them. And I kind of feel like that might be you, especially if you walked away from this person. Someone here is not speaking and they disengaged. And now this person through this pause or this timeout, um, they're feeling, so their outlook is changing. They do have a crush on you with this little page of cups over here. They do have feelings, but they're ignoring them. And so this person does feel kind of slight relief, like taking a break from this or thinking of you or thinking of whatever happened. Um, that's not to say, you know, that they um, don't care about you or they're not into you. It's like, no, it's almost like they needed to find peace in order to kind of make sense of things. And they're still struggling with, I'm going to be honest with you, it almost feels like they have a hard time figuring out how they feel or expressing it. This person is also like they don't, um, their pride or their ego kind of gets in the way and they'll choose, they'll choose how things look or to look better. And, and, and when I say that, it's almost like a not getting rejected, like not, not failing, you know, they rather ensure their success or they rather ensure that they look in a good light or a good position, even if it means not getting what they want even if it means that what they truly desire, it's, they don't have it. So that's kind of like the energy that I'm get is that this person, I can't tell if it's denial or if it's rejection that they fear or that they are doing. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely have feelings for you, but there's a lot of fogginess um, going on with them. Tell me about the four swords and the sun. There could be something happening in Leo season or there's, some kind of um, peace here that is found. Why the Four of Swords with the Sun? The Guru. They're gaining wisdom. So it, they needed some kind of break or to take a breather um, to... I just heard regain control. Interesting. Maybe they felt like they weren't in control. Maybe this person keeps their emotions very contained and they don't like to have crushes or fall in love or, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, it's like maybe they feel like that's giving up their power a little bit. But I do feel that this person is finding peace and wisdom during this time. It's like gained during this time, especially if you guys, like I said, have been on a break. Let's see why the judgment in reverse with the Page of Cups. They think you're going to deny them. They think you're going to say no. Tell me about the judgment in reverse with the Page of Cups. One more. This person, they want to do what's right. And what they feel is right is either postponing this or it's, or it's best left alone for now. Tell me about the, maybe they, they feel like, maybe they feel like you'd have the right to shoot them down if they did shoot their shot. Tell me about the Five of Swords with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This person's worried about their position. They're worried about not being enough or not having enough or about commitment. They, they are concerned over how things would work out between you or how other people would be affected if they were open to this. 
Tell me about the Six of Wands with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Cups with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this person, they're not sure what's going on with you. They feel like you disengaged and that's with that Five of Swords. They It kind of like triggered them or I don't know. They, they're, uh, they're unsure, or maybe they know that they weren't truthful. And the only thing that can correct this is if they come in with an offer or if they apologize, it does feel like something happened between you guys, or there is something here where they feel like maybe you pulled back or you're cold, or maybe you feel like they're not talking to you either way though. It feels like someone had to step away in order to gain clarity. And I know that a lot of you don't like to hear that but not everyone processes the same. Not everyone deals with things the same, um, you know, and it's important to remember that it's important to have empathy in situations without letting it um, trample over your boundaries. There's a difference, right? Um, they want to heal this. They find you to be very healing. Tell me about the temperance and the queen of cups. Yeah. So this person's unsure about you walking away or you disengaging or what's going on with you. But this person is hopeful that you guys are going to have more, that there's more to come or that you guys will be reconnecting. I'm going to say they have, there's some anxiety. They're missing you. They find themselves kind of thinking about you. They think that it's not the same, that it's not reciprocated. So then they get defensive. Then they almost like get upset with themselves of why they're spending so much energy or, uh, you know, uh, feeling that's this way or thinking about you. It's almost like they try to power it and I don't overpower it. I mean, overpower their emotions. And I don't know if it works because the energy feels very present here. Again, they're trying to come off as a six of wands. They're trying to come off as unfazed, unbothered, but they're definitely bothered. Is my group number three's crush interested in my group number threes? Is their crush interested in my group number threes? What else can we know? So they're planning for a future. They're planning for the future with you. Yeah. Wow, bitch. You don't see this coming. Always you, group three. You're frustrated. I get it. Okay. So I see that they are planning on coming towards you or reconnecting with you. They are prideful about it. And that's kind of what's taking them a while. They, this person has been overthinking like a motherfucker, let me tell you. Um, but this person is strategizing or planning a move towards you. You don't see this coming. They've been like manifesting this, thinking of this. I feel like they think about this in the dark at nighttime before they like fall asleep. And this person is like timing. They know it's a matter of time and they know that you're frustrated or that you're upset with them. But this person's like, don't worry. Uh, they're coming in to soften you up. They're coming in to butter you up, buttercup. This person is concerned right now about what they can offer long-term or if they're ready or if their life can support that. There is concern here for some of you over other people. If this person is a parent or if you guys work together or have mutual friends, uh, there's something here um, that could be possible of what's coming up for them. Um, so, yes, they're interested in you. And, yeah, group three. Of course, group three. All right. Let's see. Thank you for it. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What else can we know? How does our crush feel about them? How does my group number three's crush feel about my group number threes? What else can we know about their feelings towards my group number threes? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number threes. What can we know? What can you tell us? They've gained clarity through this distance. Yeah. Listen, this person needed to go hermit. Um, they've realized something. And it was painful. They they needed some kind of ending, unfortunately, to see the light. Oh, to realize how they feel. What else can we know? 
my group number three's crush, their feelings towards my group number three's, oh my gosh, you guys, this person realized there's something here that they realized that they, yeah, this person, okay, so one thing that you're going to have to know about them, if this is someone, if it's your person, I mean, you already know this, is it's just in their nature to retract back into their turtle shell or their hermit crab or their cave or under the bridge, wherever they go back to, <laughs> under the rock, um, to think, to think. This person, uh, they need isolation. They need space. And this is what they needed in order for them to kind of gain clarity of the situation. This person is strategizing. They miss you a lot. They feel left out. They miss you. And they've been very affected by this time apart. This person is gearing up to pop in, to come towards you. Tell me about that King of Cups. Make it good. Make it good. Star in reverse. Why? The lovers. They don't have, they're trying to remain hopeful. This person's been like, this person has a scar. Some of them, it's an actual scar that you can see. But more than anything, I'm getting a big emotional scar here because they're not used to following their heart because of a past experience or something that happened as a child or they were discouraged. Tell me more. The death card. They're bringing something to an ending and it's been very difficult. This person is like after success or this is what is ending is them putting that six of wands, how, how things look on the outside. They're, they're bringing something to a close. Their heart is like overpowering their, their emotions are overpowering their logic and they're not used to that. Yeah. This person finds themselves. Listen, I wasn't going to do it, but the Lulu checkpoint, cause you just never know. This person finds themselves in love with you or they find themselves thinking about you all the time. It's more than a crush. LL Cool J. <laughs> hey, lover. <laughs> um, I know I say the Lulu checkpoint because you got to check in. You know, that's for those of you that already know this is your person. This is not for those of you that it's the barista through the drive through window, you know, that makes the small talk when they hand you your coffee. I mean, maybe it is, but if it is, you haven't seen them in a long time and they've really missed giving you your coffee, you know, and, and it's stuck out in their mind. I don't know. This feels like it's more established than that. So I'm not trying to knock anyone's crushes. It's just that when I start talking about this kind of stuff, that's when I have to throw in the checkpoints so that we can stay grounded in our own, in our own situation. Um, which you guys already know what's up. If you come here regularly, you know how we do. Oh my God. Not the two of cups. Listen, this person is torturing themselves. <laughs> this person wants to be with you this person wants to be with you let me tell you group three all right let's see what's next between you guys thank you spirit messages for my group threes please messages for my group number threes what's next between my group number threes and their crush what's next what's next between my group number threes and their crush thank you spirit What's next between my group number threes and their crush? What can we know? What can you tell us? What's next between my group number threes and their crush? We have temperance. What was that? We have the two of wands. What's next between my group number threes and their crush? There's going to be an opportunity coming up. You guys are going to have a healing encounter with this person. They're going to come towards you. Uh, there's a lot of uh, tension between you guys. I can't tell if it's sexual tension or literally something to hash out. Maybe you have some things to kind of get off your chest and then you guys are going to have a makeup situation perhaps. Messages for my group number threes. What's next between them and their crush? Why the temperance? So there is action that's going to happen between you guys. This is unfinished business. You guys aren't done yet. Why the two of wands? Return back. Let's do this. So yeah, there is going to be an opportunity to reconnect or for them to come out from being out in the cold. They don't have their plan exactly in place, but they're thinking and they're getting ready to jump whenever they see 
the the window of opportunity is what it feels like. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The, their move towards you is going to be before they're ready, but they can't help it. And before they're ready, meaning they're, they can't give you everything that you want in this moment. But you guys, this person's going to travel towards you. They're waiting for the right time. There's something from the past that's holding them back. Something's not done yet and they're still healing. Tell me about the Knight of Swords with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're going to repeat some kind of cycle with you. Things are slowly progressing here. But I just saw an Ace of Cups. Where was it? Here we go. You guys are going to reconnect. It's not over. This person hangs on to things from the past a lot. But they see you. They see who you are. You're like an answered, wow. You're an answered prayer. Okay, not the shadow play collective being answered prayers. I mean, literally, we knew that. If you found this channel, you know how I feel about my collective. Listen, my group number three is that's what I have for you. This person keeps coming up as not, they don't want to be pried into or like poked at too much. They don't want to let on their, you know, how they're going to go about it. But they're saying, this person's saying, I love you or I care or yes, I want this too. Take it how it resonates, my group threes, straight to the point. Let's get you guys some oracle cards before we carry on about our day. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. Their crush. What can we know? What can you tell us? Is their crush interested in them? Success. Yeah. You already know. You guys already know. Lots of fear, but it's okay. You guys will work through it. You guys can be scared holding hands together, learning how to love each other, right? Isn't that cute? All right. Look at all this fire between you guys. I'm telling you, some of you guys are going to have like makeup sex. <laughs> if you know that's for you, then you know. Don't pretend. And if that's not for you, then baby, you know it's not for you. All right. I see lots of passion. Your intuition already knows what's up. Ideation, it's ideation and fear. Let's swap those. Because that's what's holding this person back. It's that King of Swords energy, the needing to see the path laid out in front of them, not realizing that some things they just have to, they have to walk through that door. Messages for my group number threes, please. We have Sword with a Rose, Clarity, Truth, Revelation. And then next to that is Date. So they might be asking you out. Um, yeah, they might be wanting to come and hang out with you, have a date, plan a date. Um, catch up. We have palm tree. This is about stability, security, permanence, and growth. So this person, they're not interested in a kind of short-term things. And then we have the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. They might have fear of abandonment and used to being chased. And then we have coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, feeling uplifted in friendship. You guys are going to meet up. I'm getting you guys are going to go on a date. You guys are going to catch up. You're going to rekindle things. Uh, this person's going to warm you up again if you've been a little cold towards them. My group number threes, that is what I have for you today. I almost choked on that. <laughs> Listen, maybe you're going to be choking on something soon. I don't know. Hopefully it's something good. My group number three, that is what I have for you. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.